What'd you do? Good morning, everybody. So, I came and beat Stubble yesterday. I got a little ways, but still got a long ways to go to finish beating Stubble on this field, so. Oil's over here. But this is our Stubble beat, well, the Stubble beater we use. It's actually my uncle's. And what it has is these flails spin around and uh, chop the shovel down. And any loose straw that's on top or anything, it chops. Uh, it actually spins the opposite direction that you're going. So it does a pretty good job chopping as long as you have good flails on it. But I gotta check the hydraulic oil. Oil's good, let's fire it up and let it warm up. The cab's a little bit smaller than the other tractors. Uh, it's a little bit older, but it still works. It has a, our old GPS system that we used to use, the very first one we got, the Trimble. My uncle put it on here. This is actually his tractor that we're using, but he put it on here and makes it nicer beating stubble. You used to always have to drive, and now with the GPS, you don't have to pay attention. It's a millennial thing. Let's get this show on the road. Yo, engage. Speed her up here, and we're off. Oh, it's mad. It's angry. Pull on the stick. Let's try again. Nope. Still angry. There we go. Just had to give a man for the oil to warm up. Now the GPS is working. Now I can do what I do best. Sit here and watch. Well, Phil called and said that he's got a problem with that vine beater. Some flails just came off randomly going down the field. He says he didn't hit anything. My guess is they were probably stressed from in the past from hitting something. He doesn't want to be working underneath of it without anybody around. It's a pretty big, heavy piece of equipment. We're going to put the stands under it, but still, just in case something happens, it's nice to have a second person there just to make sure. Um, so we're just letting this cool down. going to run over and help him get that put back together. Then we'll get back at it. Phillip's under there welding on the new ears. Here's the old one. He was just under there with the grinder cutting off. Here's the other one. <laughs> Not very straight anymore. Apparently at some point it has hit something. Well, we got Philip all patched up, fixed up, and ready to go. There he is, causing a bunch of dust. Watch him, make sure he can go down the field before we uh, take off, make sure he doesn't have any other problems. I mean, there shouldn't be any problems, but you never know. And he's off. I'll run this generator back in the welder and unload all that. Uh, and then I'll go hop back in my stubble beater. It's getting a little bit of a vibration every now and then. I couldn't figure out what was going on. And I came out to inspect and Looks like this cross is come, it's getting some slop in it. That's the only thing I can find that's wrong. Everything else seems to be fine. The flails all seem to be there. I don't think it's a flail or else you would have it all the time. And this is kind of coming and going. So I, I'm pretty sure it's that. 90%. Well, I'll call it night. I can't get that part tonight. Good morning, everybody out here gonna grab the drive line off of this uh stubble beater take it over to the shop and see if i can't take it apart over there just make it a lot easier for me i can hold it in the vise and everything let's get that pulled off let's go uh see how it is put this drive line back together it didn't come apart too bad so fingers crossed it uh goes together that well too
Hmm, something doesn't seem right here. Yeah, that's not just supposed to fall in the hole like that. It's supposed to have to push them in. Uh, it's supposed to be a tight bit. Tight. Tight like a tiger. But um, this one's not, so. Guess we're going back to town. I've been down here helping fill up uh, the tires on the back of that vine beater. Are all shot. We're headed up to go grab the boom truck. Apparently, we thought it was just one tire. It was bad. We were just cutting out, and we we're gonna replace just the one. But it looks like there is a whole slew of tires on the back of this thing that are all worn out. Uh, they're just not taking any weight, and so it's not doing the job that it's supposed to do. was fun no I mean we got it done but it wasn't really that fun she's put together now we're gonna take the boom truck back my uncle uh, was cutting grain and uh, the rear hub spindle whatever you want to call it broke and dropped the rear combine on the ground so I'm gonna go help him and then maybe hopefully I can make it to town today and get that cross switched out Maybe get that put back together. I doubt I'll get any stubble beating today as late as it is. I guess, you know what they say, bad things happen in sets of three. And yesterday was stubble beater, then this, and then the combine. So we should be good now. That should be the end of our problems. Life should be great. <laughs> oh, I can't even say it with a straight face. What'd you do? Not what you pay me for. To be fair, it wasn't Skylar that did this. Yeah, that's not good. Tire's not supposed to be back there. One of those days. Well, the forklift won't work it. Well, won't work it. <laughs> won't lift it, so uh, now we're digging a hole to put a ball jack under it. Well, an hour and a half later, and we finally have it out of the ground. We decided just to pull this end piece off since uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work to get it out. The spindle, you can see where it snapped off. The bolts, bolts are all snapped. Uh, you gotta come in here and get inside this plate. It's gonna be a lot of work. We just figured it'd be easier to take it up to the shop where we have more tools. We've got the spindle put back together, sitting in the back of my pickup. I'm gonna drive down there. We'll hopefully get that bolted on, torque it down, get those bolts good and tight. We don't want this thing dropping on the ground again. And, uh, then it's gonna be fun to try and get that tire on there. We gotta lift that axle higher, or we gotta dig a hole and try to get that tire down in it. Um, probably easier just to jack it up is probably what we'll end up doing, lifting that axle back up a little bit higher. Uh, we'll have to move some placing and cribbing, but we'll get it done. We got the new spindle in. It's all back up together. Now we just gotta grab the tire. Oh yeah. Tires back on. It's uh, almost as good as new. It's got a little, better little battle new. wound. Better than new. It's fixed. <laughs> Chick stick scars, right? It just got, it's got stories to tell. So it's only eight o'clock at night, and all I've done today is fix equipment. But sometimes you have good days. Sometimes you have bad days. Today was was one of those bad days, but. It is what it is. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. What? Oh, dog's racing me. After uh, the jump, calm down.